Well, well, well. Hello there, and welcome to my channel. My name is Quality, and today I. I don't know if you saw my Pokemon video that I uploaded recently. Part 5? 6? 5? I think it's 5. Uh, I was talking about how I love Dreamcatcher and one is Welcome to my little K-pop corner. I went out and bought a light, finally, so my camera might look a little bit better. Hopefully it looks better. I don't know. I think it looks better. But I also made my own little K-pop corner with all my favorite idols. And by my favorite idols, I mean just Dreamcatcher and one is And so, recently I saw that Dreamcatcher had a collaboration with Neogen, I think it was, and they each released their own scent. And initially I wasn't going to buy them because I think it was like through their initial, their official, sorry, store. And I don't want to pay for shipping from Korea anymore because shipping from Korea is expensive. That's like $50 and I don't want to pay for that shipping anymore because I've paid for it one too many times pre-ordering Dreamcatcher albums and so I didn't buy them. And then they closed their official store and started selling them on YesStyle. And I already buy stuff on YesStyle and if I spend enough they give me free shipping anyway and so I went and bought them. I bought both the body mist and the lotion. And so they finally came in, so I thought today I would do a test. I was gonna say a taste test, but it's not a taste test, we're not eating them. A smell test and see what they smell like. Because I was curious before I bought it, and so I thought you guys would be curious too. I haven't opened the box because I'm I was saving it for the video. My precarious setup is dying as I like jostle around my desk. So if things start like if things start falling down, it's because I have a really precarious setup right now. And ah! Ah! I don't need that. I have a really precarious setup right now. And yeah. So if things fall apart midway through, we'll we'll fix them as as they come. But that is not what we're here for. I can show you that later if you would like. It's just the cardigan. It's a really soft cardigan. It's a really nice cardigan, but that is not what you're here for. What you are here for today is cream capture. I also went and bought, this corner is a little bit dark, let me turn on the light. Well, it has yellow light, but whatever. There's extra light in there. I also went and bought their season screens because I was hanging out with my friend today and she took me to the K-pop store. And I saw it and I was like, I'm gonna buy this because I initially, once again, wasn't gonna buy it because I didn't want to pay for it. Get over. <laughs> My bad. Shipping from Korea. Because shipping from Korea. Oh, they gave me free stuff. Oh, I need this. This is sunscreen. I don't know if it works, but I need it because I'm a vampire. But they also gave me free mascaras. Not sponsored by YesStyle or anything. I wish I was, but YesStyle has like all sorts of things. They have really nice things. But anyway, we went to the K-pop shop and I found it and I was like, I'm gonna buy it too because I did actually want it initially I just didn't want to pay for shipping and so this one is the box of hand creams 
the lotions, hand creams, whatever. It says hand cream on there, so I said hand cream. And packaging is pretty nice. It didn't come indented or anything. I can't really tell because the light's not that great here. It looks okay, but I can't actually see anything. It has like an official like sticker right here. So I don't want to open that side. But on the other side, it has that obnoxious tape that I have to scrape really hard at the box to get at. I should have honestly opened them all beforehand. But, I am unprepared, always. If any of these photo cards fall down, I'm going to be really sad because I spent like 50 minutes setting them up. Okay. So, as there are seven numbers, there are seven boxes. I opened it from the bottom, which I guess is actually honestly good because they're all upside down. Aren't I supposed to get cards with this? Oh, I do get cards. They're in the box. So, let's see. I got these. Oh, sorry. I don't know where everything is. She signed it, but my finger is in the way. And there's a little message on the back. I'm not sure if it will be clear, but cute little. Let me actually see something. Is it like different message? No, it's not. It's just the back of the card. Okay. And then the other two, since the message is not any different, it is... Oh my god, I can't see. Handong and Gayon. And they both signed theirs as well. So, nice cards. The Gotcha Life. Um, I wonder. Does it tell you who sent is who? It does not. It might tell you in the box. Let me... Take them all out and check the ooh, the box. I have too many. Actually, I just realized I would have to disassemble the box. I think it tells you like the ingredient tells you the ingredients on the inside of the box, but it doesn't tell you whose scent is whose. So let me look that up real quick. A few moments later. Okay, so I am back. I looked up their scents. It is on the official Neogen website. And so I have laid them out on my desk in the order of the members. If I pause and start doing the fan chant, it's because I can't remember which order they go in. So <laughs> hopefully I don't do that. And hopefully I can remember. But this one is to use. It's a pink one. I, I have the light like in front of the camera, so I don't know if you guys can see it all too well, but I think I can't read it because the font is funky. So let me find the other one. Hers is Passion Ner Neroli and it is Lavender with Petagrain with Essential Oil from Netherlands. Fancy. I imagine if it has lavender in it, it would be good for sleeping. It would be calming, not good for sleeping. But lavender is good for sleep. So let's see what it smells like. I can't tell what it smells like from the bottle. I actually have to use a little bit of it. So my hand's gonna smell like multiple different things today. It smells like, um, it doesn't smell like lavender, straight up lavender. It smells like those, what are they called? They're not petunias, those are different flowers. The ones that they use for the, the Hawaiian lays. No wait, I take that back, I take that back. It smells like, kind of like jasmine, because we have a jasmine bush out in front of our house and and sometimes when it gets really windy, it smells exactly like this. It smells like my childhood is what it smells like. Because that used to smell like... I used to smell that all the time. I think my dad destroyed it, so it's not there anymore. But it smells like childhood is what it smells like to me. Um, it doesn't smell like straight up lavender. 
It honestly smells like jasmine to me, like the jasmine blossoms. That's what Ji Yu smells like, apparently. But yeah, very nice scent. Kinda, well, I'm not really surprised now that I think about it. Kinda sounds like. As odd as that sounds, it smells like what Ji Yu would actually like. This one is for Zua. Uh, it is called Motion Suede. It is peony with orange essential oils. Just the description sounds like her. <laughs> Ugh. Don't smell anything from the bottle. You think I would smell something from the bottle considering, you know, they are They've been locked up in there for for a while. Oh man, this one's stronger. This one. I like this one. This one. This one sounds sounds smells like. It's almost like those Lancome perfumes. I'm not sure the number is the one that my sister used to wear. I'm I'm not sure. But it's not straight up like Lancome, like perfume. It's like if you had that, but with like a slight floral scent, which I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that's what it smells like to me. But it's actually another good one. I think between the two so far, I like, I like Sua's the most right now, just because I don't know. I'm a sensitive person when it comes to smell, so I actually I don't like strong smells. Things with really strong smells give me a headache. So I typically don't wear perfume or lotion, like strong smelling lotion. I used to, as a child, avoid candle shops because I couldn't deal with like all the smells from the candles. Like just walking past the door would give me a headache. So I used to avoid candle shops as a child. I used to avoid walking past the door. And whenever we did have to walk past the door, I would hold my breath just because walking past the door would give me a headache. But yeah, so Juice smells nice, but I feel like it's a little... Even though I initially said Suez was stronger when I opened it, I think maybe floral smells in particular bug me. I don't know why. But this one, we're moving on to Xion's. I don't know where my camera is. Xion's scent. And this one is called Moonlight Musk. Sounds like a Bath and Body Works um, name. I don't know why. <laughs> I forgot to. I, I forgot to huff it. This one says it is Rose with Thyme essential oil. Kinda smells almost like baby powder, not gonna lie. Like, not as strong as baby powder, but baby powder. Yep, it smells like baby powder, but like muted baby powder. I'm not saying it's a bad scent, I'm just saying that's what it smells like to me. That's a good smell if you're like me and sensitive to smell, to, yeah, to scents, to scents in general. It's a good one. It's not too overbearing, but if you want to have a scent and you're sensitive to smells, scents in general, you could use this one and it'd be just fine. It's really, really subtle. I still like Sua's the most right now. Hers is favorite, <laughs> the super hyper energetic one. This one is Handang's. It is called Love Rose, and it is with citrus and rose essential oil, like the name says. Let's see. I like that each bottle is one, a different color, and two, the Dreamcatcher design on it. Not that you can see, but the Dreamcatcher design on it is different for every single member. So even though some of them have like the generic Dreamcatcher shape, they have a different design on the inside. Just realized my glasses on this side have a shadow. So it looks like my eyeliner or I just have a stray hair or my eyebrows. 
But no, it's not. It's the shadow from my glasses. Oh, this one's this one. You can actually smell it. Where's the cap? I'm losing caps already, and I haven't even. I haven't even. I'm running out of fingers. I have to go to the other hand now. I'm running out. Ooh, this one smells really good. This one... You know... It obviously smells like roses, but... You know how some of the cheaper made, like, rose-scented soaps and perfumes that you can get at, like, discount shops? Like, Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, drugstore, beauty products that are scented like rose? Have that, like artificial rose smell. This one doesn't have artificial rose smell. I'm very, very surprised. It smells like legit actual roses, which if you hadn't noticed there's a difference, there's a difference between like cheap rose scented things and I guess expensive rose scented things because the expensive ones actually smell like roses and the cheaper ones, they have that, I, I would say it's nasty smelling fake rose scent where it's super overpowering and I don't like it but this one smells really good this one smells like actual roses and I'm very very impressed I take it back Hundung's is my favorite right now hers smells like actual roses I'm so impressed it's it's a small thing but to me it's I'm impressed I'm already impressed not that I would expect anything less from Dreamcatcher. This one is Yuhyun's and it is called Camera Focus Light Stop Being a Jerk. It is called Freedom Iris and it is with <gasps> Iris and Sandalwood. I actually really like Sandalwood. All the Sandalwood stuff at Bath and Body Works. Uh, Bath and Body Works. I love. I don't always buy all of them because money and also I have a lot of lotions just stacked up but the sandalwood stuff I love the sandalwood stuff I'm sure the members got to pick their own designs and I should have something to say about them but I'm just so impressed by all the scents that I'm not even looking at the art on the bottles but yeah Oh, this one? I don't know what irises smell like on their own. This one smells kind of, not in a bad way, but like medicinal almost. Not, hmm. I think it's the sandalwood is overpowering most of the iris. But... I don't, I don't know what this one smells like. For a lack of a better description, it's not medicinal, like straight up. Like if you're, if you're Asian, you probably have at some point your parents probably made like those Chinese medicinal herbal stuff. It's not like that. It's not that super medicinal, but it's like. I don't know. It's kind of calming. I don't. I don't know how to describe this one. There's. It makes me think. I have no idea how to describe this one. This one. It smells really good. But I don't know how to describe this one. This one is. On the website, it says it's fruity, but I don't think it's fruity. I would say it's more. more earthy than fruity but like it's medicinal but in a good way like I don't know if that makes sense to you but that's that's how I'm gonna describe it I, I don't know how oh sorry I was reading the wrong one it says on the website it's floral which very very true it does when you smell it it smells like a field of flowers I don't know how to describe what this smells like everyone else, but when I smell it, honestly, the first thing that pops into my head is like a field of flowers right after 
a rainstorm but not like directly after it's like you wait a couple hours and then you know the sun is shining and the clouds are floating in the sky they're not black they're white and the sky is blue and then you hear birds chirping and I said you waited a couple hours so you might not see a rainbow but if there is a rainbow there's a, <laughs> the rainbow is there and it's just really happy and fun times that's not a scent but that's the vibe I get from this lotion which, if that helps you to figure out what the scent is, there you go, <laughs> that's my description for it. And then this next one is this Tummy's scent. The light is really bright, I should turn it down, but if I turn it down then you can't see me because I have no other light in here. And this one is Self Bergamot, and it is... It just says it is sweat, sweat, sweet and fruity scent with bergamot essential oils. So let's see. It just says it's fruity, so I don't, I don't know what that means. Once again, if you hear doors opening and closing or things bumping around, as my parents settling in for the night. I don't know how to describe this one either. It's not fruity though. I don't feel like this one's fruity in particular. I don't know how to describe this one. I'm gonna eject lotion to my nose. I've done that many a time at Bath and Body Works. You know when you pick up the bottle and it's not the tester bottle or it is the tester bottle, whatever. You pick up a bottle and you just kind of squish it in front of your nose and it just has, just squirts a whole bunch of it up your nose. That's exactly what I'm gonna do on accident. It kind of smells, it's not fruity per se. It's more, I would say it's more like a, I don't want to be mean, but it kind of smells like, not an old lady smell, but it's kind of like that. I guess it's more mature, <laughs> is, is what I'm looking for. It's like, it's not as pronounced as the other smells. The other scents are like, I guess decidedly girly in a, in a sense. This one is kind of For some reason, I want to say it smells like honeysuckle. I don't know what honeysuckle actually smells like, but I imagine that flower when smelling this. Maybe, maybe I do know what honeysuckle smells like, and I haven't, I haven't smelled it in a long time, but somewhere in my childhood I have. Let me look up what the honeysuckle flower looks like, just so I, I, like, no, I'm talking about the right flower here. Yeah, so I am talking about the right flower. <laughs> Maybe somewhere in my childhood I smelled it and that's what it smells like, but it smells more florally to me, but not like outright like in your face. It's very muted. Also a good scent, but not something I would go for. I honestly still like Handangs out of the out, out of the most the best. Out of the set, the best. I don't know. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so out of it. And then, last but not least, since there are seven members, there are seven scents. And this one is called Daydream Sweetie. And it is for Gayan, the youngest. And it is vanilla with orange essential oil. I typically don't like things that are vanilla scented just because they are overly sweet to me and even though as a child I ate bowls of sugar just by itself I actually don't like anything that smells too sweet it's uh, 
You, th- you think I would, considering I ate tons of sugar as a child. Maybe it's because I ate tons of su- sugar as a child that I actually don't like anything that smells too sweet. So we'll see how hers is. Oh! Huh. Hers is actually really nice. It's not overly vanilla. It's not like the Bath and Body ones where it's just vanilla and it's just in your face. It just smells like sugar. It smells like you could that get diabetes just from smelling it. It's... I want to say it smells like a creamsicle, but not like super sweet. Like a less sweetened creamsicle, a sugar-free creamsicle is what it smells like. <gasps> the scent is super familiar. What is it? It smells like something I... <gasps> it's so familiar. I don't... I'm so angry. I don't remember what it smells like, but... This scent is super familiar. It kind of smells almost... Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Hmm. It smells super familiar and I don't remember what it is, but it's like... There's a thing, I know it exists, that you guys probably know what it is, but... I don't remember. Once again, it smells like childhood. But that was a long time ago and I don't remember what that is. But this one smells really good. Out of all of them, since I have smelt all seven of them, I like Handang's the most. I like the rose one because I'm just super impressed that it smells like actual roses. It's been so long since anything rose scented. Well, maybe it's because I stopped buying them because I was tired of being lied to. But it's been so long since anything that has said it's rose scented has smelled like actual roses. And I'm really impressed. So Handang's Love Rose. Is my favorite. I think Gaian's Daydream Sweetie is my next favorite. And then I would say Sua's Motion Suede. Um, and then, hmm. And then I would say Xian's Moonlight Musk. I don't know why I'm arranging them on my box, but the Moonlight Musk. And then... I would say Tummies. Uh, Silk Bergamot. And then Freedom Iris. And then Jiyu's Scent, which is Passion Neroli. Just because I think this one is a little bit strong for me. In particular because... Unfortunately, I'm just sensitive to whatever she chose for hers. So that will be it for the lotions.